What's up everybody? Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to use my new script that I uploaded to the Game Guardian site earlier. This is the uh, IL2CPP Dumper Toolbox, the free version. There's also a pro version on my site. It's got a lot more features. But anyway, um, <clears throat> back to the subject at hand. So first we're going to press the button to uh, load a dump. First button in the script. Then you're gonna have to find the uh, libil2cpp.so. Sometimes if it's a split APK, you'll see the name split and uh, I think like arm or arm seven or arm 64, or arm eight, depending on if you're on a 32-bit or 64-bit device. But it's simple when it has the actual true file name like that. And then, next, we are going to pick a dump CS file from my IL2CPP dumper that you uh, create on the PC, or if you have files that work for you on the, uh, the website they have now. But anyway, select the CS file, press OK. It takes a minute or so to parse all the information in this file. It's a pretty large file most of the time. But uh, once it finishes parsing all that data, it's going to pop up with a screen that is going to allow you to uh, start searching through the information. There we go. So, search methods. Select the type of methods you're going to, you're going to include in your results here. I know what I'm looking for already, so I'm just going to select and You don't have to uncheck all. As soon as you check one of these, it ignores the all check mark at the top. So, and press OK. Alright, so here's the result I'm looking for. This is where it, uh, it determines how much of an item you have in inventory. So, we're going to set that to 200. Uncheck it. Press the SX button, press the S because you're done here. Scripting menu, create script functions. Check the item that we want to, the edit we want to add to the script function. There's only one, so pretty simple. Name your function. Alright, keep crafting. Okay. Uncheck that. Press the SX button, press the S because we're done there. Scripting menu. Generate script from loaded functions. You can add your name or whatever if you want. So change the name, whatever. So, it will save your script to a subdirectory with the game's name inside of the directory you selected as your data directory the first time you ran my script here. Kill the game. Restart. I'm going to go to the directory I selected for my data directory, which is CPP. find the game that we were currently working on and up here make sure that it's uh, sorted by date and pick the top one that's going to be the most recent file there we go free crafting go to the crafting menu here you can see I can't create anything at the moment because I have no materials at all Enable free crafting. <laughs> and there you see, free crafting is enabled. So, uh, in the script, also, you know, if they uh, want to disable it, touch it again, 
Again, you don't have to code anything. You don't have to know how to code. Uh, you just need to be able to get a dump CS file for the current version of the game <laughs> and, uh, and search for some keywords and press some buttons and you can make your own script. So that is how you use it. Everybody have a good one.